Yeah, what's up guys, welcome to Training Reviews. So in my previous video, I reviewed a whole load of photos and videos, even audio, autofocus, all the different types of comparisons I can do with the cameras on the Google Pixel 4 XL and the S20 Ultra. Now today in this video, I'm gonna be focusing more on the portrait photography. Now the Google Pixel has always had some great portrait photos, but the S20 has come out with a lot of improvement for their live focus uh, portrait photography. So what I'm gonna do is give you a side-by-side -side comparison. Now for me, the Pixel has always been the best phone for taking portrait pictures. Now I know the iPhone has taken a lot of good pictures with their recent iPhone 11 release as well. Now today I'm gonna to test to see if Samsung have made a very good improvement on the live focus photography, because that's something that I haven't been impressed with in previous Galaxy phones. So hopefully this video will give you an idea if they've made these massive improvements or they're still quite not there yet on Google's level. So let's just get straight into it. Okay guys, so just starting off, I can immediately start off by saying I'm actually very impressed with the live focus mode here on the S20. Now I wasn't expecting it to be that good uh, compared to like all of the previous Galaxy phones, but in this comparison here, I think the S20 has done a little bit of a better job here. And the reason I say that is because the picture is actually a little bit brighter. I still feel it's quite sharp where I can see all of the details. And specifically, if you look around the edges of my face, I can see there's a bit more blur that's blended into my face on the Pixel 4 and that is not there on the S20. So for me, that is a quite a big surprise and I'm uh, pretty impressed with this as well. So in this scenario right now, I would say the S20 looks better in the portrait picture here. Now moving on to this next one, I'm going to have to say that the Pixel 4 is slightly better in this picture only because I feel like it's a bit more sharper and I can see more details in the picture whereas the S20 feels like it's just brightened it a little bit and smoothened things out. Now I don't have any beauty mode or any specific mode on for the S20, but I have HDR mode on for both of them. And I feel like, especially the blur and the bokeh effect on the background of the Pixel, I feel like it mimics more closely to a real SLR or mirrorless camera. And I just feel like it pops and stands out and that's something I genuinely expect from the Google Pixel phones. So for me, in this picture, the Pixel 4 does come out much better. In this picture, I was in sort of an awkward location. I was trying to get my friend to take a picture from behind some of these balloons. Now I know the uh, portrait mode would struggle a little bit, but in terms of blurring the background, I actually think the Samsung S20 has done a bit of a better job there. If you look at the light bulbs just on the left of my body, you can see that they're still blurred on the S20 picture and they're not blurred in the Pixel 4 picture completely. And I think the Pixel 4 is struggling to pick out where I am compared to where some of the background is and where the balloons are. But ultimately, the sharpness in how I look in the picture and trying to see, let's say for example, the skin tone and the coloring on my jacket, I feel like it's a lot clearer on the Pixel 4 as well, although the S20 has done a better job in blurring out most of the background. Now moving on to photography relating to just specifically objects in the room. So I took this picture of my MacBook and I actually think both of them have done a very good job and it's very hard to distinguish which one is a little bit better. But if I'm looking at the edges of my laptop, I would say that the Pixel 4 is slightly better because I can see it's a little bit more sharper. Whereas on the S20, if you look at the top of the MacBook, you can see that the blur blends in to the bezels of the screen a tiny bit, even though it's very hard to notice. So for me, it's pretty much even. And I would say the one that stands out more be and is a little bit more realistic with the colors in the background, I would say that would be for the Pixel 4. Okay, so this is a tricky one. Now, I want you guys to let me know in the comments below what you think is the better picture here. So this is quite a mixed one. I think there's good points and bad points to both of these. However, I feel like I can see more clarity in the leaves themselves on the Pixel 4, but I can see more of the leaves on the S20. So for me, this is uh, one of those pictures where it's your personal preference, but I believe the S20 overall is a little bit better on there. Now this plant is in my garden in very low lighting and both have done a very good job. Obviously the S20 Ultra is very good at brightening up the pictures and showing you more of what is in the shot. Now the thing I want to focus on here is the chain that's hanging off of this plant. 
So as you can see from the Pixel 4, there's different parts of the chain that are coming through and the rest of them are blurry. So it's not focusing on 100% either showing the chain or 100% blurring it. Now with the S20, it's a lot more focused on the plant and it's done maybe 95% blur of the chain itself. But you can see there on the bottom left of the chain is still visible. Now I think that's a better picture than the Pixel 4. But again, this one I think is very close and I would be happy with either of them. Now going back to myself and looking at an indoor shot, I can see myself here in the Pixel 4 is a lot better than the one on the S20 Ultra. So a lot of my pictures that I would be taking might be indoors as well. So when I'm here in a restaurant, I want to be able to get good clarity on how I look and how my features are, how my clothes come out. And realistically, I think the Pixel 4 is much better in terms of how the situation was there in person. And the S20 Ultra just smoothens the skin tone, makes it a little bit more tanned, a little bit more glowing in a sepia kind of filter. So for me, the Pixel 4 always accelerates in these types of pictures. Finally, I just wanted to point out this one. The Pixel 4, I believe, is the better picture. However, I still believe the S20 has done a better job in picking out the edges of my body. If you look at the face, if I just zoom in there on the Pixel 4, you can see that it's not done a great job getting the blur to go right to the edges of my face and to my hair, whereas it's done a bit of a better job doing that on an S20. Now it has blurred a little bit of the hair and it has brightened the picture a little bit too much where the hair color is slightly different. And again, with the sharpness and the coloring of the clothes and my skin tone, the Pixel 4 is always better in that case. Okay, so moving on to the front selfie camera. Now this is where the Pixel 4 really stands out because I'm here indoors in my living room. It wasn't great lighting and I was in a situation where there was a lot of shadow and it was a bit dark where I was sitting, but the Pixel 4, it did do a lot better of a job because as you can see, the S20 was struggling a little bit to get the clarity of how I looked because it was quite dark. And you can see that it's smoothened out my face quite a lot. And especially if you look at a bit of my stubble there, it's a lot more clearer and realistic there on the Pixel 4 and it's just way too soft and smooth and washed out on the S20 and even if you look at the top of my hair it's just way too blurry there on the S20 and it's much better there on the Pixel 4. Stepping outdoors though this is where it really outshines the rest. I don't really need to explain which one is better here but as you can see on the Pixel 4 it's just so much clearer it's realistic I don't know what's going on there on the S20 and I try to focus on myself and it just came out a little bit terrible. Maybe I thought it went a little bit too fast and maybe I moved or something. So I took another shot in that same situation and this is the outcome. Again, not too bad. I do like the S20, but I feel like the Pixel 4 is more realistic. What the S20 is very good at doing is just brightening it up, but I'd rather have a very clear and sharp picture and brighten it up post picture using maybe Google Photos editor or something like that and just making sure it's the most perfect picture you can get. So for me, the Pixel 4 is a lot more clear and uh, definitely wins on this one. One last selfie outdoors, as you can see there, again, the Pixel 4 just outshines the S20. It's just much clearer. And there's a bit of a green kind of tint there in the background of the S20, which I don't really like. It feels like they've already added a filter on top of the picture once I've taken it. But if you are going to take portrait pictures using a selfie camera, for me, the Pixel 4 will always win hands down. This one, again, as you can see, same situation. The skin is very smooth there in the S20, but it's not realistic. And I wish it was like that in real life, but the Pixel 4 will always show how the situation actually is in that scenario. And finally, just one in very low lighting. I think this is after sunset. It's dark outside and it's uh, done a great job on the Pixel 4 to give a lot of clarity in very low lighting conditions. S20 is not too bad, but I feel like there's a parts of the edges where it hasn't really blurred it completely towards my hat there at the top, but it's a bit smoother and uh, it's not too sharp, whereas the Pixel 4 is definitely the winner in this one. All right guys, so that was the review. Hopefully that was useful and you got an idea of which one takes the better portrait pictures. In my honest opinion, I think the Google Pixel has always been the winner in the portrait game. Now I have to hand it to Samsung, they have made a lot of improvements from the previous Galaxy phones. So with their portrait photography or the live focus photography on this, I think they've done an incredible job making some adjustments, but I think the way they process their pictures, they smoothen things out, they brighten things up, it makes it a little bit unrealistic and a lot of the edges are not sharp enough for me. 
And again, as you saw in some of the samples, the pixel will always win in the portrait game. And if you take a lot of portrait photography and you can't decide between these, I would definitely recommend the Google Pixel 4. So that was a quick video. Hopefully that was useful for you guys. If there's anything else you'd like to know or anything you'd like me to test with either of these phones, then drop a comment below. Otherwise, I have a lot more videos coming out for the S20 Ultra. So make sure you subscribe so you won't miss those ones. And I hope you like this video and I'll catch you guys at the next one. Take care.